Today's story sponsor is Paws of Fury, The Legend of Hank, which is a summer animated comedy for the whole family. If you've ever felt like an underdog, you will love the adventure when the underdog becomes the top dog. Oh, and of course, there's no more epic rivalry than cats versus dogs, right? But what happens when cats team up with the underdog? Looks like I know how we are going to be spending one of our Friday family movie nights this summer. Join us at the theaters on July 15th to see Paws of Fury. Hey, friends and parents, June marks the beginning of an epic summer on Disney Plus, who is sponsoring today's story with fun filled adventures like Disney's Baymax, Sneakerella, Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, as well as Ice Age, Scrat Tales. Definitely looking forward to our summer Friday family movie nights where we grab the pillows and the popcorn and oh, good times. Oh, and definitely Baymax. Kind of wish Baymax was on the spy team. How about you? Well, friends, all of these and more streaming this month on Disney+. Plus. Hey, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, well, then you need to be on our Critter Protector team. You see, down in the show notes below, your parents can click on that link and fill out that form so that you can receive our free Critter Protector badge in the mail. And that's only the beginning, because then we will start sending you challenges and missions of how to save the critters around where you live. Well, friends, are you ready to listen to part two with me? Let's go! Owen was scared. He had just been startled awake by that loud, and he had no idea who it was or where it was coming from. Remember yesterday he had been flying a very long time all the way to Canada, but he stopped to take a break. He thought this was an abandoned nest that he could sleep in, but apparently I don't think it was abandoned. Owen tried to look around and let out a call of his own, the one that he used to alarm. But immediately, Owen suddenly felt a thud. Another very large bird had just landed in the nest, and he found himself face to face with a ginormous bald eagle. Hey, what are you doing in my nest all alone? She asked him. Um, well, you see, well, I woke up late, my flock left without me, and I'm all alone. I just stopped to sleep. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, please don't eat me. I see. That's quite a story you have there, but uh, if, and I mean if, uh, if I let you go, what's in it for me? The bald eagle asked. Um, uh, oh, I could get you some fish, like a ton of fish. I'm a master fisher catcher, and yeah, why don't I just get you breakfast? You just take a seat here, uh, just relax. I'll go get you some fish and bring it back here. Fish? Hi, I've never tried that before. I, I don't think I eat fish. She snapped back. Um, how about you just give it a try? Like, after all, you know, if you eat me, you won't have anyone to help you see if you might like fish. You know, it might be your new favorite food. The bald eel paused and she winced her eyes. Okay, well, I'll give it a chance. You have two minutes. I might need more than two minutes. You know, fishing, it's not always a guaranteed, like, exactly how long. Did I stutter? You have two minutes. Or else, I'm going to be having whatever you are for breakfast. Owen took a deep breath and dove off the edge of the nest. It was way high up, and he zoomed down to the river below. He knew that he only had a little bit of time and that bald eagle was going to be watching him the entire time. Okay, fishies, where are you? I really need need a fish. Uh... He was zooming up and down and around the river looking for the sparkle of a fish scale that was glistening in the morning sunlight. Uh, There! Oh, perfect. You look big enough. All right, here we go. Owen had to fly a little bit higher above the surface of the water so that he could have enough speed as he's diving down to crash into the water and grab onto the fish with his talons. Zzz, 
got you. Ugh. All right, come here. He grabbed one of the fish and flew up to the nest. He dropped the fish inside of the nest, and that bald eagle was intrigued. Hmm. Well, it does look a little tasty. Let me have a bite, and we'll see. I do have a pretty picky palate, so don't uh, get excited yet. You're not out of the woods. The bald eagle took a bite out of the fish. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess it's your lucky day. This, I might say this is a delicious meal, and looks like this would taste much better than you. So, uh, just fly away quick now before I change my mind. With that, Owen flapped his wings faster than he'd ever flown before and dashed off far away from that unfortunate resting place. Being woken up so early and so unexpectedly, Owen was still a little sleepy. <sighs> oh, I just gotta make it to Canada. He tried to play all kinds of games along the way, like look for a tree with every color on it, or, oh yeah, find a mountain that looks like a camel. That's a fun game. And see if he can zoom faster than a truck down below. You know how when you go on a road trip, you play games in the car? Yeah, birds do the same thing while they're flying up in the sky. Up ahead, he finally saw a beautiful pond. It had super clear water, and he could even see the fish swimming from all the way up near the clouds. It was so crystal clear, he looked side to side. And that's when he saw... That's... Uh, it's a whole flock of my friends, he shouted. Owen was so happy. He zoomed down to the pond. Hello down there, he called. Hey, uh, who are you? A voice replied back. It's me, Owen. As he landed on the grass, he realized that that group of birds was actually not his flock. Oh, I'm sorry, they're... I think the flock that you're talking about, yeah, we did see them fly by the other day. You did? I just missed them? Oh man. You're not flying through here all on your own, some, are you? Yeah, uh, it's, it hasn't been the easiest flight this time, but yeah, I'm kind of on my own now. Well, we'd be happy to have you. Just come on with us. Are you serious? I would love that said Owen. It was at this moment that Owen knew everything was going to be okay. He was excited for the next adventure ahead with his new friends and his new flock. Wow, this may be the end of the story, but it's really just the beginning of Owen's great adventure to Canada. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end. All right, I have a question for you about ospreys. How far do you think that they have to fly between South America to Canada? Do you think that's like 100 miles away, 1,000 miles away, or 6,000 miles away? Dun, 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 dun. 6,000 miles, holy smokes, that is really far. Yeah, they have to fly 6,000 miles from South America to Canada. Well, friends, I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!